let's continue with uh, the 2008 um, exam. And this is the uh, calculator portion. So we're starting with 84 here. Uh, the graph of the derivative of a function is shown in the figure. The graph has horizontal tangent lines at x equals negative 1, x equals 1, and x equals 3. At which of the following values does the graph have a um, relative maximum? So we're looking at the f-prime graph. So x-intercepts represents where slope is 0. Anything above represents positive slope. Anything below the x-axis represents negative slope. So we can create a sine line and, and, and use the sine line to help us determine where the relative max will be. So first off, critical points at negative 2, 1, and 4. Uh, to the left of negative 2, we see the graph is going to have a negative slope. So I'm going to indicate that with an uh, arrow down and um, downward arrow. And then between negative 2 and 1, we see um, uh, the graph is above the x-axis. So I'm going to indicate that with a positive slope. Um, and uh, uh, positive uh, slope for arrow. And then between 1 and 4, we see the graph is above the x-axis, so again, positive slope. And then to the right of 4, we, we see um, valleys below the x-axis, so a negative slope. And so we're going to see a relative maximum by following these arrows, and change of signs uh, will occur at 4 because slope changes from positive to negative. Okay, 85, uh, the table gives uh, values of function for f and for its derivative at selected values of x. If f prime is continuous on the interval uh, from negative 4 to negative 1, what is the value of the definite integral from negative 4 to negative 1 of f prime? Okay. And let's think about uh, this as simply applying um, and trying to evaluate a definite integral. Uh, so the definite integral of f prime will just be f of x. f prime will turn into its antiderivative f of x. And then we just plug in the upper and lower bound. So that's simply applying the first theorem of calculus, where the definite integral of f prime will just be f of b minus f of a. And if we apply that with this problem, then the definite integral of f prime will just be f of the upper bound, negative 1, minus f of the lower bound, f of negative 4. So f of negative 1 is negative 1.5 uh, by looking at the table of values there. And f of negative 4 is simply going to be 0.75. So we subtract those values and we get negative 2.25. Right, moving on to 86, um, we have a table of values uh, where we're given the velocity, um, uh, selected values from the velocity graph. And uh, at time t equals 0, the particle is at the origin. Which of the following could be the graph of the position function uh, for, uh, of the particle for uh, t between 0 and 4? And let's, uh, let's um, take a look at this uh, velocity uh, set of uh, values here. So uh, we know that uh, uh, critical point is going to occur where velocity is 0. And whenever velocity is 0, we're going to be expecting either a relative max or relative min, whether it is a, uh, a hill or a valley. So we know, we see a 0 here, so we're going to be expecting, um, this changes from positive to a negative, so we're going to be expecting a, uh, a relative max at x equals 3. Okay, uh, So that's the only 0 that we see. However, if you look at between negative 2 and 1, there's going to be a sign change somewhere between uh, 0 and 1, right? 0 is at a negative velocity. Uh, at t equals 1, we have a positive velocity. So somewhere in between, maybe at 1 half. So if the slope changes from a negative to a positive, or velocity changes from negative to a positive, then that means we're going to be expecting a relative minimum. So we want a graph that is uh, basically going to have this shape, where we're going to have maybe something like a relative minimum around 1 half and the relative maximum around 3. So the only uh, graph that's going to have uh, uh, those characteristics will be C. Now E is pretty close, but we're expecting a relative minimum at 1 half and not at 1. Okay, so that means we have to take out E. And so C will be our solution there. Okay, 87. 
an object uh, traveling in a straight line has position x of t. If the initial position is x sub 0 is equal to 2, and the velocity of the object is v of t, what's the position of the object at time t equals 3? Okay. Uh, if we think about, uh, if we want to look for the final position, then we need to have the initial position plus the distance traveled. And if we can um, put it into words, then we can just match up um, uh, uh, this in, um, in variable notation and integral notation. So final position is what we're looking for, x of 3. Initial position is x of 0. And the distance traveled from 0 to 3 is just going to be the depth integral of v of t from 0 to 3. So all this can go in our calculator. We're going to get 4.5114. Initial position is 2. So 2 plus 4.5114 will give us our final position of 6.512.